Oh, Peta is going to have a field day with this one, Mom. Here we are, pretty in pink, in my mom's bathroom, trying to get that good-for-nothing cat stuck in the sack. Come on, Chloe. Oh, I see a Chloe foot. I see a Chloe face. Pull her foot in. Get that foot in and stick that little Chloe nose out, you good-for-nothing cat. That's just a good-for-nothing cat. Hide your face in shame, you good-for-nothing cat. There's a good-for-nothing cat. Ho, 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 ho. We're taking you to the vet, you good-for-nothing cat. Oh, sweetie is going to love this video. Oh, we did it. We did it. It's phase one complete. All right, Jerry. No. All right, the good-for-nothing cat's ready for her big adventure. I'm wearing Chuck's kind of like a giant bib, just in case. <laughs> little Chloe. It will happen. Little Chloe has a herp up vomiting accident. Odds are 99% certain there's going to be puke involved because ah, stress. It's stressful going to the vet. Well, and, and riding in the car. And riding in the car and, and dealing with your annoying brother. Because we are brother and sister, you good for nothing cat. And you know what? Brothers and sisters always don't get along, but when the chips are down, family's always there for you. Yes, you good for nothing cat. We love our good for nothing sister cat. This little cat suffers from anxiety. <laughs> this little cat suffers from glaucoma. <laughs> and now. We're going to have a HIPAA violation lawsuit on our hands. Mr. Gurr. Guilty on all counts. Yes. And you are charged with being a good-for-nothing cat. Because she handles a little bit better in that thing where her face is out. Oh. My good-for-nothing little sister. <laughs> you. You. Okay. She needs her claws done. She needs an eye check. Two shots. One shot. I'm only getting the one, Jerry. Oh, okay. That's a that three-year distemper shot plus the rabies. Oh, she's going on eleven. Yeah, I need my distemper shot. I get I gotta get two of those a year, thanks to my dad. What? Temper issues. Oh, it's I just talked to the good people at Appanasha Pet Clinic, and the good news is in the history, they've never had a HIPAA violation with regards to pets. So I think I can safely air Chloe's ailments on the internet without anybody getting their fur in a ruffle. <laughs> Poor good-for-nothing cat. We love our good-for-nothing cat. Yeah.